Hey, 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 everybody. It's your lovely Lotus Blossom Lizzie. And I am really excited today because I knew that I could not work in my new junk journal until I showed you all what it looked like. Plus, I always like to have kind of a before flip through and an after of my junk journals. So I showed you on uh, a previous video. Um, this is my junk journal that I've currently been working on and it is just busting at the seams. It's a wrap around journal and again, it's like busting at the seams. So I'm not gonna take a peek in here. I'll leave a link to the flip through uh, or the final flip through for you of this, but I'll still be kind of going back and forth into this. It still has a, a smidge of room left in it. And I'm gonna be going into my new journal. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, I will say that I made the journal out of a book like this. So this has already been gutted and everything. And actually, this cover is quite pretty and would make a nice journal itself. The only thing about um, books like this is the spine is way too small. Like you can put like maybe one signature in here, but even one signature would be too much if you junk journal like I do. <laughs> So if you haven't subscribed to the channel and you love junk journaling and you want to see how to use your junk journal and make things for your junk journal, then subscribe to the channel. You'll also be able to share your creations with us over at Junk Journal Buddies. That's our Facebook group and the link is going to be below as well. And uh, yeah, if also, if you want to see uh, even more videos that are exclusive, you can support the channel by going over to Patreon at patreon.com slash Liz for a day. Okay, so now on to the junk journal that I'm going to be using. Now, again, I'm so excited. This came out so stinking beautiful. Y'all ready? Dun, 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 dun. Look at that. It is, y'all, this is stinking beautiful. And it is really humongous. I'll show you the back as well. And so it went from something like this to, huh? This, yeah. So this one, I'm gonna tell you how big it is. Let me find my uh, ruler here and put my old lady glasses on because you know y'all know how I roll my old lady glasses all right so this book is approximately it's big it's heavy too and it doesn't have anything in it yet it's about eight inches wide by let's see about 11 inches so that's pretty big bigger almost as big as a piece of paper and um normally I this is the biggest journal that I've made. Again, this is for myself. It's not up for sale. And I don't have any videos on how I made it or anything because y'all just, you know, on some days you're just like, okay, I need, I want to do this for myself. Just do stuff and without trying to, you know, teach about it or anything. But if anybody is interested in, in learning how to make a journal like this, then you can contact me over on Facebook. And we'll see what I can work out. If I have enough people, then I'll show how to make this. Because this one was big and it, you know, it took me a while to make, but I'm glad I did it. Now, I also want to say, I talk a lot. So, if you all uh, don't like somebody that talks a lot, then uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I will apologize for that. Um, for this book, I... I try not to think too much into it because I think that's what happens with us. We get kind of stifled when it comes to making things for ourselves. Even though we're not selling it, we want it to be perfect. And I really took the imperfection out of my mind. And I said, I'm just going to do this. And wherever, you know, the materials and things takes me, I'm going to do it. I also want to say that I am a very eclectic person when I make books for myself. Um, and I'm not very girly. Yes, I know this book kind of looks a little bit girly. And uh, it's a little bit of a stretch for me. Because I did want something kind of pretty and motivating to open up. You want a book that's pretty to open, to be motivated to use. 
Um, I also made it this size because my plan is I'll be putting lots of pictures in here, which is also something I have not done in the past. Normally I put a few pictures in, but this time I'm going to be putting a lot in it. And I'll talk about that as I go through my junk journal processes as well. So, um, I made it big and again, the front and the back cover are from, uh, one of these books is one of the time life gardening books, but you can find any book and originally I was going to use the cover and then I decided to just go ham on it and I found this material in my stash and it's just like a, a reddish kind of florally type of um, florally type of fabric and I wanted to use kind of some florals in this and again she went ham on it <laughs> And I had a, I had one cardstock paper pad that I wanted to use and it had lots of florals in it. And I've had it for a really long time. I've been hoarding it, saving it. I don't know why. And so I wanted to use that too. So, um, I don't think, I, and you know, I was going to not cover the back of this up and I decided to cover it up too. But anyway, so the only closure on here is just a piece of lace and I just cut it long enough so when this book gets full, I can tie it. I'm still debating on whether I want to attach it to the book. It's not attached right now, but for now, it's kind of like perfect for what I want to do. So um, let me talk about this cover for a moment because it is some awesomeness going on on this cover. <laughs> I outdid myself and I'm so proud of myself. Now, I named my book. Let me just kind of move my little bling blings here. You'll see it says My Narrative. And I kind of got that from y'all, the play Hamilton. I'm totally obsessed with Hamilton. I love it. And he has uh, Lynn Manuel, the creator of Hamilton. Some of the words in there just kind of speak to me in that play. And I've, I've watched it several times since it has been released, um, you know, basically to the public on Disney. And um, this is one thing was the narrative of your life, you know. Um, that just means you're telling a story. And I wanted this to be about, like, my story. So the things that I'm going to be putting in here are not just from, like, right now and this time or this year. It'll be things from the past as well that I would like to document. And kind of leave this book as a legacy for my children and my grandchildren. And so I'll probably be uh, more meaningful with the things that I put in here. But at the same time, y'all can't help myself. Yeah, I know I go crazy when I do my junk journal processing, so get ready for it. <laughs> so when I did the book, I knew I wanted to put like a little dangle dangle on here. And so I made kind of a book charm here. And I put it in the middle of the book because I wanted it to kind of look like a necklace. So I wanted it to kind of hang. So when it's this way, it hangs. Once the book gets full and it goes this way, it's going to hang that way. And I thought that was kind of clever of me. <laughs> and I, I will say I have never seen anybody do this before in a book. Maybe it's out there and you all can tell me in the comments, have you seen anybody else do a uh, junk journal necklace? <laughs> And I probably could have did the necklace this way as well. So when the book sits up, it'll sit a little bit differently. But I kind of like this this way because even once the book is sitting this way, the way the dangles are, they'll just kind of, they lay any kind of way that you put the book. So I thought that was quite clever and I love that. And I've just been sitting here kind of playing with things. Now I put a... A, a slide on here I have like uh, tons of slides they don't belong to me and the pictures have no meaning but I just love the slides because I'll be putting pictures in here I put a little bling on there because who doesn't like a little bling and I had these charms since the beginning of time that I got from a thrift store and it says love because y'all know I like making things with love I'm, you always say I'm an overachiever, but that's because I like to do things with love. I like making things with love. And then I had this little butterfly as I was going through my charms. And, you know, I love butterflies. Y'all have a butterfly tattoo. 
the only one I have and the only one I probably have. <laughs> but I have my butterfly tattoo, so I decided to put a butterfly on it. And I put a key on here. And the key, I don't know. I'm thinking about it. I don't know why that key reached out to me to be part of this cover. I haven't figured that out yet. And then, of course, the dice, because, you know, we always want, want to have some luck. I think dice are lucky, you know. For some people, if you're not gambling, I'm not a gambler. Okay, and um, the front and the back and the parts of the sides are cardstock, and I did lots of sewing with the whipper snapper. And if you don't, if you're new to the channel, my whipper snapper is my SQ9185 Brother sewing machine. Okay, so now I'm gonna go into the book. If I was watching this, I would be mad. I'd be like, okay, you talk too much. Could you just get into the book? <laughs> but when you're on the other end. Things are not the same. I want to talk about my book because I love it. All right. So see how that kind of hangs that way? Y'all yeah, was kind of stuck on this. There's a piece of um, a piece of uh, lace there that is holding on to, but that's okay. All right. So let's go inside. Dun, 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 dun. Now, this book for me is kind of unfinished. I want to put a pocket in here, but right now I just haven't figured it out what I want for my pocket to be so I'm gonna think on that and y'all I'm the queen of letting a room sit empty until I find the exact piece of furniture that I want to put in there that's how these pockets are gonna be because I don't really use the pockets in the front as much anyway um so I can wait on that y'all isn't this this is cardstock you all but you could definitely mimic this with maybe some dictionary paper and you can print on it or paint on it if you're talented like this but this was actually cardstock from a simple stories um um book all of all of the papers in here are well not all of them but most of them are cardstock from paper pads because i was like i'm going to use some paper pads plus since this book was so big i needed some big pieces of paper and that's the only big piece of paper i had but I kind of like the way I did it. Okay, so um, the way that I like my journals is just when I start out, I want like kind of a blank slate. So if you've ever seen any of my flip throughs, which there's a playlist for them of my books, you'll always see that it always starts out with a blank slate. And then that way I can kind of decorate the things the way that I want them to be decorated. So instead of kind of decorating things ahead of time, I want to do the pages like one at a time and kind of ease into it however also in my past books I've always said I don't mind having blank pages but in this one I wanted to go a little bit of a different route I wanted every page to have something on it already so that's what you're gonna see so let's start flipping through the pages and this is a fantastic way to use some of uh, some pages that are flimsy that are not that strong that you would like to use maybe you have like some um, vintage pages from like the 1800s and they just I have a cookbook that I can barely turn the pages on and it just crumbles up so what you could do is you can use like the cardstock and you can take that crumbly paper and you can uh, glue it down or in this case every all the most of the pages are sewn so um, that's why you'll see something on every page otherwise this would have been a white page which still would have been okay, but I wanted to be motivated in a different way. I always try to do my books differently whenever I make them. Now, this is from a kid's workbook, and we have a dictionary page that I was testing some paints on, and so I used that. Then we have a shorter page here, and this just has some text pages from that Time Life book that I used. And I believe this page right here is, yeah, this was from a book. I forgot what the name of the book is, so let's just pass on that. <laughs> and you'll notice I have like the sewing all around. So y'all took me a little bit of time, but I sewed almost everything in here because I love sewing. So that's definitely me. And it would be very motivating for me to use this book because that sewing is the bomb diggity. And then I use this page is a, an atlas page of Indiana because I'm originally from Indiana, you all. And uh, I didn't have, well, I probably do have one from Florida. I stay in Florida now, but 
Um, I wanted to put like Indiana in here because this is where I'm from. So that's kind of cool. And I have another text page here. And then this is a calendar uh, from an old calendar. So if you all, calendars have fantastic, fantastic images in them. And so I wanted to use an old calendar, which I've been collecting. Um, I want to use that in my book as well. And I actually cut the page too short. I wanted it to be longer, but I decided to use the page anyway because I thought I love like this part of the calendar too. It makes a terrific background. And then here, this came from a 70s book um, that I've actually been using the mess out of and I have a few of them. And it's like teaching kids lessons about stuff. And I just love the graphics in here. Doesn't this remind you of Saturday morning cartoons for you, those of you who are old enough where it wasn't a cartoon channel or Nick Jr. or Disney channel. <laughs> But just the Saturday morning cartoons that only came on for a few hours. That's what this reminds me of. I, I love these pages. And then here is the back side of that calendar. And then I just sewed down some ledger paper on here. Because who doesn't like ledger paper in their journal? And then we have another text page here. Because, you know, text pages make beautiful backgrounds as well. And again, this was, I think this was like kind of like, a, it was an art book. And it has some patterns that you can use and you can paint. It wasn't a coloring book, but the images were just stunning. And I've kind of been hoarding that book too, because y'all know how we roll. And then I also put down some old, uh, some old music paper on here. And we have some more um, dictionary paper. And we have the text paper and with this book too when I was sewing things down sometimes the pages got got a little bit bubbly um, but I didn't mind I like the texture that it made this is just a piece of one of the books that I cut and I just decided to stick it on here y'all this like this gives me life right here all these bright colors it looks beautiful so this came out of that art book as well y'all look at the pages that were in that book you have to think differently about the things that you collect for your, for your um your junk journal because you can find like how to craft books usually have some really big images in them, and so this was one of those books. It was just perfect for this application. Then text page, and then this one is this is one of those pages that you if I folded it up, it would just like split in half. So it's a from an old ledger book that I had. And so I just sewed around it. I didn't even glue um, these down. I just put the pages down. I made sure that they fit. And then I just sewed around it. And then here we have our um, text page again. Y'all look at this beautiful. Look at that. That's beautiful. What is that? A calendar. That's what I'm saying. Calendar pages. Wonderful. And then this was from an old book as well. And I don't know what the year was on it, and it about bunny rabbits or whatever. I still have that book, but I've been using that too a lot. But isn't that kind of cool? Beautiful. I love using the children's books. It doesn't even have to be an old book. Y'all don't get stuck on the old stuff. Find some new pretty stuff and use that too. Because you can get that on the cheap at the thrift stores and at Goodwill as well. And then look at that picture. That is so beautiful. And what is it? Blammo, a calendar. <laughs> and then this one right here, you can see some of the bubbliness here. I don't mind. This came from a mathematics book that I had. And usually like the collage packs that I put together over in the shop, I'll put things like this in it because they make such nice backgrounds. Even if you ripped it up, it still would be quite wonderful. And then we have another text page. And then this is from a music book as well. And I've never even seen a page like this. I just kind of ran across it. Even though I have a gazillion uh, music pages. And then this came from that, that uh, craft book. Y'all look at that picture. Look at those pictures. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I didn't even try to think about like what pages matched with what. When I put them together, I just, y'all, I literally just threw the pages in and said, okay, this is the next page, this is the next page, this is the next page, done. Didn't think too much into it. And this is a dictionary page. Y'all hear that? Nice bubbliness. 
and then we have a text page here and then, oh by the way this book has five signatures so um, this one is the third signature that we're on and that's another uh, uh, mathematics book this was from a map page that um, art book text page this came out of a time life book and I love yeah I don't love the snow but I love snow time pictures because I grew up in the snow <laughs> and it reminds me it reminds me of home and then we have another text page and this is one I think that I didn't well I think it's cut okay it has a little bird there and that's the back of the map blammo and then look at that kids book and I think this book was a newer book too so so you can find some fantastic images on in newer books as well and this is the back of the calendar page y'all it's just stunning stunning and this is from a boat book that was one of the first books that I bought when I started collecting from my junk journal and it's not old and crumb I mean it's not crumbly but it was old and the book was in bad condition when I bought it and everything but I love that book anyway and then we have another text page this came from an Afghan book and I thought it was kind of cool it reminds me of my grandmother because my grandmother was an avid sewer she was the I mean not sewer a crocheter she crocheted and knitted and she used to knit our gloves when we went to school. She used to do the gloves where it had like the string that go all the way through, <laughs> go through your sleeves to the other sleeve so you can't lose your mittens. It was mittens that she made. And she would make a matching scarf and a matching hat. And then in kindergarten, we had to have rugs that we took our naps on and she made our rugs and everything. I remember that stuff. She was a cool grandmother. And she and she had arthritis and she still she could get out she can make a vest in a minute now you get a crochet vest <laughs> y'all look at these pictures aren't they cool so pretty and then we have the map page we got our text page and then our fourth signature this was um, some instructions from a Pokino and I love using instructions. I save them all the time. So when you buy stuff and you get instructions, the paper is usually really nice for collages and junk journaling. So save that, okay? So I'm giving y'all some ideas, all right? This came from a book, a um, little bitty book that I had. And it's like a lady and somebody, her friend is talking in her ear. I know that might be hard to see because, you know, I got the big lights on. This came from that art book. I used several pages from that book because I was like, once I started using it, it was it was on and popping. And then here is a text from that. We got another music page, text, and blammo. We have our calendars. And it's almost the time for calendars again, too. So if you have access to the dollar store, pick you up some calendars, child. And because it doesn't matter what year it is, you can still use them. You can imagine, can you imagine how many calendars get thrown in the garbage and they have beautiful, beautiful pictures. But anywho, so these pictures right here, this one reminded me of the winter time because we used to go out and play in the snow all the time in like, y'all, crazy cold weather. And this reminded me, this little girl's listening to our record player. You know not many people have record players anymore but I remember days like that when I would just sit in my room by myself and play the same records over and over again because I didn't have that many <laughs> I only had a few we ain't had that much money so you know I would have a few and then I put some more ledger paper in here I tried to not put like duplicate paper in here but you know some things I really love and I really love that ledger paper so I allowed myself to um, duplicate that and then this um, was some kind of instructions or some, I don't know what it was but I like the look of it so it ended up in the book here's another one of those art pages look at that kind of cool can y'all see that I know the lights are shining it's like shiny paper and then this came out of that little book as well and I love this dress that was on here and this reminds me of when I went to the prom and I'll tell you all well when I was going to go to the prom and I'll tell y'all that sad story on another video <laughs> and then the last signature here 
my intention was not to put too many pages in here uh but uh i think i still probably went a little overboard and uh this was from a jeopardy game an old jeopardy game where you have to put it like behind this red thing and then you can read like the the answers on here so you can't read them right now this came from that art book look at that chicken cute cute chicken and then this was actually in some happy mail that Brenda sent me thank you Brenda and I put it in my book and it's from Kansas City and y'all look at these elephants I love elephants and I'll tell you the story on the elephants on another another time <laughs> I have a story for everything so that's probably why I talk too much I'm just saying and this came from that 70s book because I love those illustrations Look at that beautiful illustri illustrated picture. And this came out of like an appendix of a book. And I love the repetition of the colors and everything. They make fantastic collage papers as well. And then we have, and this is cardstock. And it looks like it came out of an appendix, but it didn't. It's just the cardstock. It kind of just rolled that way. And I promise you, I just like put papers on here. We have a music paper, and I do have several pages with the music paper because I love music paper as backgrounds for stuff. And probably in the end, you, when I get done with this book, a lot of these pages, you may not even be able to see the original page when I get done. <laughs> but I don't know. This one's so lovely. And then this is from the Jeopardy again. And it has frost dates. And then the, the end in the back here. And so, again, I'm thinking about the pockets that I want to put in. So, there's no pockets on there. I didn't put any tabs on here. I didn't put any, like, book ends or uh, book corners on. Because, like I said, um, it's always, like, a work in progress for me when it comes to this. And also, what you'll see is this. You don't see the actual um, signature stitching in here because... I did a hidden spine for this book and that's not something I normally do either but it came out really good so you can see I have like all I left all the little hanging threads because I like threadage on my book and you can see the five signatures here let me open it a little bit it's hard to see the first signature for some reason but there's five signatures in here so the book is not a uh, fat yet but it's kind of fat enough where I know when this gets done it's going to be a, a fantastic size. Y'all hear that? I love that. With these wonderful pieces that I put on here. So I would love to know what's your favorite part of this book. Um, and if you have any questions about it. Because I know I just kind of rambled on. Because I just like this book. And I'm ready to start using it. And I couldn't wait to record this video. Because I was like, I want to use my book. <laughs> so, uh... That is pretty much it, you all. So again, if you have any questions, let me know. Come over and join our Facebook group over at Junk Journal Buddies. Don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up for fantastic, beautiful journals that we are getting ready to start playing in. <laughs> so with that, I'm going to say love, peace, and hair grease. From your sweet Lotus Blossom and lovable Lizzie. Have a fantabulous day and enjoy life.